वेलकम बैक गाइस कॉल आउट ऑफ फायर वॉल पेनवास नाइन सेशन इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट साइड टू साइड वीपीएन फॉर दिस साइड टू साइड वीपीएन लैब इज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय द राउटर बाजार राउटर बाजार प्रोवाइड द ऑल द नेटवर्किंग एंड सिक्योरिटी डिवाइस लाइक राउटर स्विच सर्वर फायर वॉल एंड एक्सेस पॉइंट सो गाइस नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट द side to side vpn so basically guys right now we have two palo alto firewall okay uh, in these device we have uh, configure ip address on the wan side 11.61 and 11.62 on the lan side guys uh, <coughs> one side we have configure 10.10 series ip address and another side we have 30.10 series ip address okay so we have to configure secure tunnel between these two device okay so uh, for that tunnel we will use ip address 10.10.11 and 10.10.12 so guys this one is our side to side vpn topology okay so configure uh, side to side vpn first of all we have to create vpn zone and after that tunnel then we have to create ipsec profile ike profile and then ipsec profile okay then we have to call Our IKE profile inside the IKE gateway, and then we have to create IPsec tunnel. Okay, and so after that we have to create security pro, uh, policy, and finally we have to give the route for our VPN traffic. So guys, all these are the step. Now we are going to follow these step in the lab. Okay, so guys, this one is my Palo Alto firewall one, and this one is the Palo Alto firewall two. Okay, and one side I have this test PC. Let me check my test PC is able to communicate with internet or not. Thing for ninety. Sorry for internet connectivity. Let me test this thing. Okay, and guys, side B on Palo Alto firewall. We are using IP address one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot eleven dot sixty two. So let me check my this PC is able to communicate with that. Yes, we are able to communicate. And side B, we are using thirty dot thirty dot thirty dot. Wait, let me check. Let me check the IP address on my client B side PC. So this one is the IP IP config. So thirty dot eleven. So let me try to communicate right now. I'm able to communicate with this or not? Thing thirty dot thirty dot. Thirty dot eleven. So guys, right now I'm not able to communicate because we didn't have route, we didn't have configure VPN. So that's why we are not able to communicate. So guys, now let's start the VPN configuration. So as I told you, in starting first of all, we have to create zone. So let's start the configuration from the firewall one. Okay. So here in the network tab, we have to create VPN zone. so here vpn zone okay this zone should be layer 3 okay we no need to do anything else here done so next step we have to create tunnel here just add give the tunnel id 10 uh virtual route we have to use our existing route and security zone here we have to mention vpn zone and here guys we have to <coughs> assign the ip address 10.10.10.11/24 okay so guys uh, in advanced section uh, for just testing purpose to check the connectivity and all those things let me call this management profile in this management profile guys i have allow Uh, icmp traffic this one is just used to check the connectivity between your tunnel okay yes so our tunnel configuration is done same tunnel we have to create on our b side firewall so here we have to follow also same step so okay guys here we have already vpn zone layer 3 type so now let me go back and uh, let me check here tunnel we have or not no we didn't have tunnel so we have to create here also tunnel we can use any tunnel id here but route 
fall onto virtual route. After that, uh, VPN zone, IP address, guys, here we have to use 12 IP address. 10.10.10.12 slash 24. Okay. In the advanced section, we have to use management profile is done. Okay. So both side guys, we have configured VPN zone and we have to, we had configured tunnel. So next step guys, we have to create IKE crypto profile. Guys here we have also few default profile, but you can create your own profile here. Okay, IKE Pro, this one is the name. So Diffie Hellman Group guys, I'm going to use Diffie Hellman Group 5, authentication method MD5, encryption 128. Okay, so IKE crypto profile is ready this side. Now I have to create also this side B. IKE crypto profile. IKE profile. Okay, we have to use same parameter whatever you are using on your firewall one. Okay, same parameter you have to use here. Otherwise, it's, uh, our VPN is not up. Okay, so second step, we have to create IPsec profile. IPsec profile. Okay, here encryption protocol, which one you do, you want to use ESP or H, uh, we will use ESP. Encryption 128, authentication, we will use MD5, DH group, let me select five, done. Okay, same profile we have to create on firewall two. IPsec crypto profile. Okay. Sec profile. Okay. 128. Authentication MD5. Diffie Hellman group. We have to select here. 5. Okay. So profile are configured on both sides. Now, next step, we have to create IKE gateway. Okay, during this configuration guide, be careful because here we have to mention few detail of your PR. Okay, so this one is IKE gateway one. Okay, here guys, you have to select which one is which one version IKE you want to use. Okay, here we have IKE V1 only, V2 only, uh, IKE V2 preferred mode. Okay. So here, right now we are going with the IKE one. And after that guys, from which one interface you want to initiate this uh, uh, tunnel. So this one is our WAN interface, Ethernet one slash one. And uh, what is the local IP address? 61. Okay, now this one is asking about your peer IP address. So our peer IP address is 192.168.11.62. If you are not sure, let me show you the IP address. So to check the IP address, you have to check here on the PR, IP, PR device. So you can see 62. This one is the object. To check the value, you have to click here. Okay, 62. After that, guys, here we have to mention appreciate key. ASDF, ASDF. Okay. So here in advanced option, here, guys, we are going to select which one mode you want to select man mode or aggressive mode automatically it will take man mode okay after that ike crypto profile okay so whatever ike profile we configured we have to call that profile here okay and this one is the done now same thing we have to create ike gateway on the firewall too okay ike gateway one ik version one in guys if you have any out same time you can check here and you can match your all the parameter here with this because if your parameter didn't match so your vpn will be not up ethernet okay local ip address 62 
and now pri prs guys we are using 61192.168.11.11.16 uh, okay appreciate key asdf asdf small letter and in the advanced tab guys we have to change here only ik crypto profile okay so this one is the done no okay this one is already done let me close this so finally we have to create ipsec tunnel okay so here ip sec tunnel the name tunnel interface okay tunnel 10 so now guys here we have to mention our ik gateway and ipsec profile this one profile and then proxy id no need to mention anything so this one is the vpn configuration is done okay after complete all the things your status should be up this ik information and tunnel information will be up after commit okay so same thing ipsec tunnel you have to create on the firewall too so here ip sec tunnel okay name guys you can give anything you are in the name tab tunnel 10 okay ik gateway we have created this ik gateway and ipsec crypto profile here ipsec profile and this one is the done okay here also status up wait guys it should be up here okay just wait some time maybe it will be automatically up and uh, next thing till that we will create a policy here so vpn policy let me add one policy here vpn rule so guys basically this rule should be bi-directional okay source is your trust zone okay and also guys sometimes maybe we are getting traffic from vpn zone so both zones should be in the source and same like source you have to mention both zone in the destination because we have to allow bi-directional traffic application any service any and action allow and done okay guys so we will push this rule above than this than access rule okay so same rule guys we have to create here in the policy section above than this than access rule vpn rule what is the source this side also trust zone and and vpn zone okay destination is sometime vpn and maybe sometime vpn is sending request to our trust zone application service any any action accept allow okay and uh, let me push this rule above than this van access rule okay scroll down and access rule perfect so guys next step we have to configure route for our this uh, vpn traffic and this one is our firewall one so here in existing route we have to put one static route toward our uh, vpn traffic so for that we will put here one static route vpn route what is the destination network 30.30.30.0/0 sorry 0/24 24 okay next hope we are sending this traffic through our tunnel interface and tunnel 10 
and what is the ip address of site b tunnel il i think this one is that 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 12 okay so guys let me confirm once the ip address Twelve, perfect. And then okay. And okay. This side is done. Now same thing we have to configure here on the side B firewall in existing route. Secure uh, static route. VPN route. And destination this side guys 192.168.10.0/24. Okay. So here we have to send this traffic also through VPN tunnel. So what is the tunnel? IP address 10.10.10.11. This route is done okay so once everything is done we have to commit now let me commit also on firewall one okay so you can see your commit is in process okay once Let's finish this. Almost done. And now let me close this. So guys, finally, if you want to check your uh, both side, VPN is all the places are completed. So you can check here few log message in the system. So you can see here guys, uh, phase two succeeded, okay? That means our VPN is configured properly. Now time to test it. So as you can see here, before we are not able to communicate with this IP address. So now let's try, we are able to communicate or not. Okay guys, we are able to communicate, but guys, we have to check this traffic is going through properly our VPN and our VPN, both profile are working or not, okay. So to check all these things, we have to go here in the VPN tunnel. And uh, once, let me refresh this. So guys here, you can check here IK information. You can see IK gateway to rule name is this, role is this. And in the tunnel information, here you can see. Right now we send only three packets, so three packets are encrypted, three packets are decrypted. Let me send few more packets from another site. But if you want to send packets from another site, so for that I should have the uh, idea about my site APC IP address. So this one is the IP address. Okay. 10.10. .10. Okay, basically I lost the connectivity uh, from the site B, but you can see here, if you are sending traffic from site A to site B, this 30.30.30.11, we are able to communicate. And uh, previously we have sent it three packets, now four packets, so total are seven packets. Let me refresh this. So guys, seven packets. So guys, this one is your side to side VPN. Okay, now we'll see you in the next video. In the next video, we are going to configure a global protect VPN and we will check how it will be work. Okay guys, now see you in the next video.